All right, uh, as a researcher and a teacher, I generally try to answer scientific questions. Um, but I want to look at a rather non-scientific question, and that is, what is the most useful discovery in physics? Well, the answer is a matter of opinion, uh, but I will give you mine. So what you're looking at right here is a um, coil of wire with a bulb attached to it. It's, a, it's called an LED, a light-emitting diode, it's called. Coil of wire and a bulb. Well, and usually to make the bulb come on, you would need some kind of electrical power source, like a battery, right? Um, but what I'm gonna show you is instead of using a battery, if you bring a magnet near this coil, and I just have a magnet on a stick here, and what I'm gonna do is rotate the magnet. And you notice that when the magnet is spinning, this light actually turns on. So current is being forced through this wire, even though I don't have a battery. Um, so taking the place of the battery is me spinning this magnet. Well, it turns out this is just an incredibly useful effect. Again, all you have to do to generate a current if you don't have a battery is to have a magnet and move it near a conducting coil. And you can see that as I spin this magnet, as I rotate the magnet, I'm registering a current within this coil. So if you want to generate electric power from anything that's moving, what you need to do is have that movement rotate a magnet. So for example, suppose you had a river of flowing water. What you'd want to do to convert that movement of the flowing water into electricity is attach a paddle wheel to the side of a device kind of like this, and then as the current flowed over the paddle wheel, it would spin the magnet and make this light come on. So that by doing so, you would have turned the mechanical energy of the river into um, electrical energy. All right, so in order to show this effect, I've got a very rapidly spinning magnet. In fact, it's spinning at 40 times per second this way. And so since it's spinning so fast in the space above the magnet where my finger is, there is, there is an incredibly rapidly changing magnetic field right here. And so what I'm gonna do is bring this coil nearby into that space where the magnetic field is changing. You can see that when I get nearby that this light comes on when I bring the coil near the space where the, the magnetic field is rapidly changing. So the key to making the light come on without a battery is to change how much magnetic field punches through this coil, the red coil, and then you can drive current in the coil. So this is just an incredibly useful effect. If you have anything that's moving, um, well, all you need to do to turn that into electric power is to make a magnet rotate near some coils and that will change how much field punches through the coil and will drive current. So a coal-fired plant, you burn coal, you boil water and use the steam to turn magnets near coils. And likewise with a nuclear plant, you use the heat generated in a nuclear reaction to boil water, which then generates steam, which then pushes uh, magnets such that they move near coils and you've created then electrical energy from the nuclear energy. So it's a matter of opinion as far as what's the most useful invention in physics, but I would pick this one, discover, discovered by Michael Faraday. So you change how much magnetic field punches through a conductor and you can drive current in the conductor, converting motion into electrical energy.